teachers, it's Sam from Newline here. Welcome back to our series of videos on using Newline Cast with your Newline panel to wirelessly share your content. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to connect from your Chromebook or student Chromebooks up to your Newline panel. So remember, you always want to make sure that moderator mode is turned on. If you haven't enabled that yet, go back to our previous introduction to Newline Cast video to learn how to turn that on. But with my Chromebook, I'm gonna have a couple of different options to present. So my Chromebook is going to allow me to use the web version of what's called Display Note to connect to my Newline panel. So you'll see that option here at the bottom where you see this website, displaynote.com slash join. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up on my Chromebook. And once I have that website pulled up, I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see what it looks like. It's going to ask me to enter my session ID as well as my name if I scroll down a little bit. So remember your session ID is this six digit code in the middle. One other thing you're gonna see on this web version is connect as teacher. You do not wanna turn that on. That is going to disable your moderator mode. So we're going to skip over that for now and we are just gonna go ahead and type in our six digit code. Once I hit connect, you're gonna see me appear over here in the queue on the right-hand side. Once I'm connected, even though you see me in the queue, my computer is telling me there is no way for me to present because of that moderator mode. So I have to wait for my teacher's invitation. Once I am ready to allow this person to present, I'm gonna have two options for how I can allow them to share their screen. If I'm just wanting to see one person screen at a time, say it's myself as the teacher, I can tap on my name in the queue and hit invite to present. Now that is going to allow me to present just my one device. And I'm gonna go ahead and share my tab here. Now, once my device is connected, I can then showcase anything that I'm showing on my Chromebook up here to my new line panel. So whether it's a lesson that I've got created, whether it's a website that I'm trying to show my students, that is going to mirror my content right up to my new line panel. Say that I have more than one person that I need to present. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my home screen and I'm gonna do that by pressing the menu button down here in the bottom left-hand corner. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but once I tap menu, you're gonna see this toolbar out to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and tap home, and that's going to bring me back to this page here or the home page for New Line Cast. If I have multiple people that I wanna to allow to connect at once, moderator mode provides this really cool feature called grid view. That's going to allow you to see up to four screens simultaneously at one time. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the grid view. Now remember, I only have one person connected, so we're gonna to have to use our imaginations a little bit, but then I can invite my students to share or invite myself to share. I'm gonna share my screen again here. And you'll see my Chromebook over here on the left-hand side. Now I know it looks really small. My Chromebook is a little bit zoomed in right now because I've been playing with the settings. So normally it'll take up much more space on that left side of the screen. And then if I had other students connected, I would see another person here. And if I had four people, there would be a quadrant of four and I'd have two more here at the bottom. So just know you do have the ability to go into that grid view. If I'm doing presentations and I want everybody to focus on this screen first, up in the top right-hand corner of this window, you're gonna see two arrows pointing away from each other. If I tap those two arrows, it's going to put that one person in full screen mode I would be able to see anything up here on their screen. And then when they're done presenting, I can tap those two arrows again and move on to the next person. So that is a really cool thing to know you have in your back pocket as well. And the last tool up here in grid view is an X button. Now, we always hope this doesn't happen, especially because you have the ability to use that moderator mode. But if something goes up here that you don't want, whether it's those NBA highlight videos or a pair of Jordans that your students are looking at, there is an X button here in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Not only is that going to close out of that student's screen, they are going to go all the way back to the queue, meaning they have to be re-invited to share again. So that is also a really good tool to know you have in your back pocket. Now I'm gonna get out of my grid view here just by selecting grid view in the bottom left-hand corner. 
So that whole time I've been connected through my Chrome browser using the Display Note website to connect. The other option when using your Chromebook is using Google Cast or Chromecast right from your Chrome browser to your New Line panel. So if you are familiar with how to use Google Cast or Chromecast, know that you can do that as well right from your Chromebook up to your New Line panel.